Okay, Splinter Rolls here again. Um, look, doing an update for the bike. Um, as you can see, the battery pack's fully mounted now um, in its permanent location in the frame. Um, the majority of the electrical connectors are in the way they should be. And the BMS wires, as you can see, are temporarily routed at the moment. You can see them here. Um, to allow me to at least uh, charge the pack and balance these batteries as they sit. You can see the inner and outer packs at the moment are joined together by some earth strapping. It's good for about 120, 140 amps. Um, however, not ideal for the permanent situation. I'll be running uh, loops of uh, at least two AWG wire to join those packs together. And um, I have temporarily placed the BMS system on the top of the pack here and temporarily wired them in so that rat's nests of wires will be tidied up with a proper plug and box arrangement into the BMS. This is purely here at the moment just for me to be able to um, balance the pack, um, confirm that it's all working, the wiring's working and to wire out the controls for the charger and the low volt alarm um, uh, to be able to control the controller and, and dial back my power as required. Around this side you'll note that the outer pack I still don't have all of the laser cut connectors um, so there's a very very temporary rig up here this will only be good enough for me to um, charge the pack and to do a balance draw on the pack. So this won't do more than 20, 30 amps. Oh, it may do up to 50, but nowhere near what I need. And you can see the other connector here from the inner to the outer pack. Now, one thing I want to point out, to make it easy for myself, what I did deliberately with the um, balance wires you'll notice is that they alternate colors brown orange brown orange gave me some assurance that I wouldn't be connecting them incorrectly I was able to strip test the voltage between it and the last before terminating it on and getting it all through at the moment I have the 12 volt connection here to the BMS so the buzzer will work and so that the um, contactor will work to turn off my controller um, and I'm yet to wire that portion of the controller of the sorry so it can um, control the charger I'm yet to wire that portion out into my um, charger to see how that goes and you'll note here it's a bit hard to see but there's all the green LEDs for those batteries and down underneath there's the second row there for all the other batteries so at the moment the battery pack's fully mounted. Um, I'm going to be able to do a few charge and discharge cycles just to, to wear the pack in. And I'll um, build the permanent um, plugs here, which will be a 25 pin D plug. And um, get a box made specially for this BMS because it's just a unique size. It, doesn't fit in any of the standard Jiffy boxes that you can get from the electronic stores. Once that's done and boxed up and on, then um, I'll mount the motor back down here. I'll weigh it all up, rig up the chain, and I should be able to go back for another test run with the full weight and full battery pack on it. And then um, finalise the 12 volt wiring. In theory, it sounds like there's not much to go, but I just know um, it's going to take me forever, as it takes most of these things for me forever. Anyway, signing off. Hope you enjoy the update.